Call me Jeff Gordon the second. Damn. Damn. Oh, What's up, guys? You're out of here. Get close, man. What the? Good job. Are you ready to go? How's it going, everyone? So today, BMW sent us out for the new release of the M240i to race these soapbox cars. And we're gonna be actually building them ourselves and seeing who can win the race. It's like Mario Kart in real life. And you know, I never lost in Mario Kart, so I don't think I'm losing today. No, it no, no. I used to be insane on the Wii. I don't, I'm, I'm winning for sure. So what, are you guys ready? Yeah, let's, no, go. let's go. What's up, guys? Oh my okay. god, that car is actually so nice. Pretty good. Wow. Look at the rim. That's your new whip? Yes, sir. You do a black hey. rim. So I actually just saw the BMW 240i for the first time and I was actually blown away. It looks really sick. The wheels are some of the best wheels I've ever seen on a car. The colors, um, no matter what color you get, will be insane. But it was actually really nice and looked really clean. Hey everyone, so this is Greg Coles with the Flushing Meadow Soapbox Derby and he's going to teach us how to build a rig and what's uh, all the parts and everything. Okay, it's a gravity driven car that takes you down the hill. So the main thing is your steering. This is your brake. Push it down with your foot and it goes to the ground. Pretty simple. Yeah. Excited? Ready to go? I'm yeah. ready. Alright, let's do it. I know nothing about the soapbox cars. This is actually my first time ever hearing of it or seeing them and it was a pleasant surprise. I thought we were coming here to do RC car racing, but uh, knowing that we actually go inside the car and race, it's uh, pretty cool. I'd imagine assembling some sort of car is gonna be very tough, and I think it's gonna be fun, because I'm sure we're gonna have sh someone show us the ropes, but at the end of the day, I think it's not the easiest process in the world. Are you ready to do this, to do the race? Yeah, I'm ready, let's go. I'm ready. Yes, sir. Um, the rules of the race were as simple as like keeping your body in the, like the, the little car, of course, then can't use your hands and stuff. Just start on top of a hill. Like a, it was a one foot hill, just go down, and then whoever wins, wins. Let's go. Hey, let's, go. let's get a G2, G2. Let's go. Hey, hey. You're out of here. Disqualified. What the? Hey, I would have won this. Hey, we got a chance. I'm too big. Right no. Ooh. I bulked up just for this event, and I was unfairly disqualified. Anyways, I guess I'll have to come back stronger next year. You'll see me then. I think Jerez will win this race, but there's a reason. Apparently, a bird on him. So I've heard that you get two weeks of good luck after that. I've heard about this recently, so I think I just can't argue with the bird. All right, he's about to go. Come on. Let's go, Jake! Woo! <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. They call me Come Jeff Gordon the second. <laughs> Come on, Let's baby. Go. Wait, he's moving. Ah, uh, that was so slow. Yeah, he's been All right, no, that was slow. That's not strategy, that one. Oh. Uh, I, I would have, I, I would have dusted him again. That was not his best performance. Uh, I didn't say. Okay, here he comes. Ready? Let's go. Damn, this guy sucks. He's moving. Wait, he's <laughs> he's moving squirming. You, man. No, no shot. No, look, he's got straps. I can probably age a couple years before I cross the finish line. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> oh, Jake, okay, you're wow. done for, Jake. You're done for. I don't know. He did have a little bit of a strategy compared to you. Oh, oh he's already out. Get out. I had two strategies in mind for the two races, that one of them being like scooting while being in the car because, like I said, the only momentum you start with is going down. So that kind of gave me a little momentum. Clap at the end, clap at the end. Ready? <laughs> Go! <laughs> Look at this dude! Look at him! Bro! <laughs> Look at this dude, he's cheating! Dude, <laughs> he's actually pulled up the strats. No, that was... That was he actually pulled the strats, man. Wow. All that. We didn't say it was against the rules, he no. didn't do it. 
Well, I just, did you hear my chirp? <laughs> Thank you guys all for watching the G2 Derby. Dries ended up winning even though he played with an unfair advantage, but the ref said it was okay. Also, I would like to say uh, get the M240i in the Rocket League item shop when you can. Yeah, and one massive last thank you to BMW for sending us out here. Now, these cars don't look as good as the new BMW in real life, but we made do. And make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.